Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and this is part two in a series. If you have not already seen the first one, I will link it above. It is tinted mineral sunscreen swatched and we're doing it for dry skin, for normal skin, for oily skin, you know, the gamut. So today's video is on our normal skin um, sunscreens. And of course, I should say, there are a few prefaces before I get into it. I do not have every sunscreen in the world. You would not want to sit through that. I would not have an arm long enough for the swatches. So this is what I have. It's still a pretty decent amount. I think it's 11, <laughs> maybe 12. And then the other caveat is that I think that a lot of these sunscreens can be used on people that have other skin types. So this one is for normal skin, but it doesn't mean that if you have dry skin, you can't use some of these. And I know people that have it and they do use them. So it just means maybe you have to do a little bit more finessing. Maybe that just means using a moisturizer underneath, or maybe it means using powder over top if you're more oily. But these are a little bit less like, they're not gonna veer toward the matte side and they're not gonna veer toward the super, super like moisturizing. They may still have a glow to them, but I think that's where it gets a little tricky with these kinds of things. So, you know, if you like the tone of it, you can usually make it work with your skin tone or skin type if that's kind of like what you're wondering. Okay, so. I will insert the swatches now and I try to go from kind of like warmest to coolest or darkest to lightest, but it's not always exact because this is like an imprecise science. All right, we're gonna try it a little differently today. I am showing you these are for normal skin. So I'm gonna go from left to right, trying to get kind of like darkest to lightest. It's not always gonna work and this one's already running. The first one we have is the Kula Resilience. Next up is the Bioderma Phytoderm Max 50. Then we have the Alpha H Eclipse. Next up is the Neutrogena Mineral Tint UV in the shade Medium. Then we have the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Sunscreen. Then we have SkinCeuticals, and this is the Radiance Mineral Tint. This is the Ilia Cbion Triple Serum SPF. Then this is the Kosas Dream Beam. Then we have the Live Tinted Hue Guard. This one is a little different. This is the Origins Ginseng. So it goes on white, but once you start rubbing it in, it changes to your skin color, supposedly. Last up, I'm gonna just have to do it on my arm because this one is very runny. This is the Tatcha Silk Screen. Whoa. All right, so there are our swatches and I will save this picture and make sure to label them. All right, once more, just so you can see, the other was in natural light. This is with um, artificial. We have the Resil Kula Resilience. Then we have the Bioderma Photoderm Max 50. This is the Alpha H Eclipse. Then number four is the Neutrogena UV Tint in Medium. Then number five is the First Aid Beauty Weightless Mineral Sunscreen. Number six is the SkinCeuticals Physical sunscreen, I think. This one is the Ilia Cbion Triple Serum Kosas Dream Beam, the Live Tinted Hue Guard. This is the Origins Ginseng SPF, and then the Tatcha Silk Screen. All right, so you just saw all of the swatches and I just wanted to talk through some of the sunscreens on a little bit more of a kind of detailed level. I have reviews for pretty much, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. So I'm gonna start off by just telling you the ones that I absolutely do not like and probably will be getting rid of. <laughs> Those are, for, I think it's just these two actually. So this is the Cooler Resilience Tinted Moisturizer Sunscreen in the shade Golden Hour. Maybe my mistake was getting this shade. I think they have a different shade. This shade's just not it for me. It's so warm, it pulls so warm. I don't like it. It was very expensive and it's only SPF 30. So like for me, not gonna work. And then the other one, which I was very excited for, is the Alpha H Total Eclipse. 
This one, it is like the most oxidizing slash warm sunscreen I, besides maybe the Kula one I just talked about, this does not work. And I've had other people mention that too. And then also that it pills under their makeup. For me, I didn't have as much of the pilling issue. It's just the color was absolutely not gonna work. So these two, I'll probably be decluttering at some point, which is a shame because they were both very expensive. All right, talking about the ones that I love the most, I have a little, a few more in this category, <laughs> but let's talk about the ones that I would say are closer to my kind of like actual shade. And those are the um, Fab or First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen and then the Kosas Dream Beam. I have raved about both of these in the past. This one in particular, the First Aid Beauty, it's just perfect. I think it's one of the most weightless kind of non, well, at least for me, like the tint, the tone is very neutral. It doesn't pull too warm, doesn't pull too cool. It just goes on and I don't feel it or see it. So I love it for that. It is liquidy and it feels like it should be nourishing and moisturizing, but I don't find that like throughout the day, I'm gonna get a lot of added moisture from it. So you would wanna moisturize underneath this. But if you're just looking for something really simple that you don't have to rub in, you don't have to wear makeup over, this is the one. The other one that I love is the Kosas Dream Beam. This one does pull warm on some people. So it, for me, is more of like when I want to look tan or like I already have a tan. So I have seen it on people with very fair skin and it just doesn't work for them. But I love the texture. I love the consistency. I love how easy it is. Um, you know, I wish maybe they had a few shades of it and then I think it would be pretty much perfect. The other two that I've always raved about for years now are the Tatcha, the silk screen. This packaging and like overall condition of this is deplorable. It's pretty much done, so I'm gonna use it up probably tomorrow and then be done with it. And then this is my second of the Live Tinted Hue Guard. I love this stuff. Now, the problem with the swatches that I have is I can't really demonstrate how it rubs out. So while you can see the tone, which is super helpful, this one, it feels like it's like a little bit warmer on me, but I actually can rub it out and like rub it into my skin and it doesn't look that different. So, you know, sometimes those swatches are helpful, but you still have to put it all over your face and then it kind of makes a difference. Whereas like the Alpha H, when I rub it in, it doesn't go away, it just builds on itself. This one kind of like dissipates a bit, so that color, that tint isn't as noticeable, I guess. So these two have loved, will repurchase both of them. Both, well, this one's very expensive. This one's not cheap, but it's worth it. And then the other for me, the others aren't bad, but the one that I have really enjoyed is this Ilya C Beyond. A lot of people have said it pills on them. It pilled on me the first time. I talked about it so many times. This packaging is the worst thing in the world. I have to just unscrew it and pour it into my hand these days and I'm almost done with it. But the reason that I like this is because I basically can use just a little as my skincare. So I'm thinking of it like a vitamin C serum and then it gives me a little bit of a color, like a little tint um, if I don't wanna wear makeup that day. But I always put sunscreen on over top of it if that's the only thing, you know, I, I can't just wear this alone. So for that in itself, like it's 60 some dollars, it's not worth it if you just want it and you have nothing else. But for someone like me, who's very bougie and I don't know, I don't like to wear vitamin C and this one sinks in a lot easier than some of my others. So I, I, I do like it, but I've talked about how I hated it in the past. So, you know, I'm not saying everyone's gonna love it. <laughs> one kind of honorable mention I will say is the Neutrogena Mineral Tint, UV Tint. I don't personally love this just because I think it's the, the shades don't work for me. They have like, I think three, so light, this is medium, and then there's a dark. And the medium's too dark, the light's too light, so I could just combine them and buy both, but I don't wanna do that. I think if you're looking for a cheap drugstore sunscreen and you are okay with either this tone or like the lighter or the darker, then it would be great. I just wish the tone worked for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I would use it a lot. It's just not the best tone, so. I'm not gonna talk about the rest of them. I think those are kind of like, they're fine, whatever. If you get them, get them. If they work for your skin tone, they work. So that covers the ground for our normal tinted mineral sunscreens. Woo. I feel like this has been a weight to lift it off my chest. We've got one more video to go. So if you are interested in the oily skin one, stick around, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.